today we're going to record some stabbing sound effects. Recording your own sound effects does a few different things. Firstly, you don't have to deal with copyright issues. Secondly, you have complete control over the sound you are producing. Some sound packs can be awesome. I use downloaded sound effects all the time. But if you record something, you might get something authentic and unique. So we got a bunch of blankets and wooden boards and set up what I'm calling the Pyramid of Silence. We bought some melons, got various weapons and smashed the crap out of them while recording in the pyramid. Unfortunately, because I live so close to a motorway, the sound was poisoned by a horrible white noise throughout the entire take. Basically, it wasn't usable. I wanted to record something outside because of the juicy mess from the melons, but it didn't work out as well as I'd hoped. So we started again. We bought some more melons, grabbed the weapons, but this time we recorded everything in our studio in a pop-out tent. We covered the tent with blankets and recorded the stabbing sound effects inside there. So this is how we recorded it. You want to get your microphone as close to your subject as possible. This is so you can turn down the sensitivity on your audio recorder, which will reduce any background noise and records a nice clean take. For example, I'm really close to the mic right now, so my gain doesn't have to be that high. But if I had to match this with the mic so far away, I'm probably going to have to turn it up. So I'm turning it up, I'm turning it up. And in order to get the same volume in my voice, you can hear all that noise, it's not good. Your audio sensitivity, also referred to as gain, is like ISO on your camera. You can raise it up, but you're gonna start getting elements that you don't want. With video, you get grainy visual noise, and for audio, you get audible noise, or hiss. So where do you set your gain? When you get yourself positioned and ready to record, perform the sound you want to record. In this case, it's stabbing a melon. Look at the readout on your audio recorder and adjust your sensitivity to around 3 to 6 decibels under the peak line. So this will give you room for the sound to go up and down in volume without having to adjust the gain. So once we got set up, we started stabbing. I'm currently recording the sound effects and I've just realised that if you stab and twist at the same time, you get something a lot more juicy. So this is a, a normal stab but this is a stab with a twist and it just, it sounds a lot more gruesome. There's a good little tip for you. When handling something round like a melon, you might find yourself holding it down with your unarmed hand to stop it from rolling. Instead, you want to make a ring or a wedge to stop it from moving. You don't want any of your body parts anywhere near the stab zone because if the knife slips, you're gonna have a bad time. You want to record your sound effects in singles, for example, if you're stabbing something, you want to do one stab, wait a second, and then stab again. If you're doing multiple stabs in one go, you're going to create one baked sound file. Now you don't want this because you won't be able to separate them out in post. If you do want multiple stabs in one go, you can create them from multiple singles. Speaking of multiple stab sounds, we recorded a bunch of whooshy sound effects by whipping a coat hanger and my lightsaber stunt blade in front of the microphone. And for good measure, both myself and Rob threw a few punches to record clothing falling. So you have the soft sound of my hoodie and the stiffer sound coming from Rob's waterproof jacket. You can use these together with the stabbing sounds for emphasis of the stabber's fast moving arm. We've cut and organized and made up all the sounds so you can download them on our free sound page. We've put the links in the description. If you missed last week's episode and vlog, you can find it on screen and down below. And why not hit subscribe if you like our videos? Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week. How was that? Yeah?